first lesson this semester, we talked about milling when it came to making those winding sticks. We were dealing with very narrow boards. We were dealing with mahogany, which frankly is very hard to mess up because it's such an easy plain wood. Let's talk about more of the reality. Some of the boards you're going to encounter that have grain that moves in different places, grain that's not really identifiable, boards that come in the rough, you can't really quite tell where the grain is until you tar start planing on it. First of all, we see the grain rising up this direction, and then it starts to dive down this direction, and it's moving very steeply too. The curl that we see on the face, every time one of these lines runs up, it dead ends on the surface and in grain. And that's what causes this different variegated color. The I've actually dimmed the lights in my shop so you can actually get a, a good feel for the scallops that the scrub plane leaves across the board. What I'm really doing here in this first step is just kind of cleaning up that first surface, removing some of the rough wood. And I'm working at kind of a 30 degree angle across the board. Now I'll turn lengthwise with the scrub plane still and work any bow off the length of the board. I'm looking at mostly wengi showing the left hand side with the tiniest strip of mahogany. On the right hand side I've got a much wider strip of mahogany. So my back right corner is my high spot. Strokes. All the way across, the board no longer has wind thanks to the winding sticks. We've eliminated the twist. Now we've got to make sure we eliminate the cup across its width. And you can see I get a little bit wider shavings now as I flattened out that face. Is start in the middle of the board and remove wood from the middle only. Is because there's such a wide open mouth, you can actually look down at that mouth and see which part of the blade is actually hitting the board. I can look right down through that window and see, okay, the center of the iron is right on that far edge. And if you, if you watch, you can see I'm only getting a very thin shaving off that one side. One thing to remember <clears throat> is, again, like we did with the winding sticks, I'll come around and I'll look for the narrowest part of the board and set my gauge to that. However, Lay this line down again. Let's try it one more time. In that instance, I removed the marker in one swipe. Focusing on keeping this new face square to the face that we've already planed. So I'll come back to my other smoothing plane. But the idea here is not so much the perfectly square edge, but a flat panel back of the board a little bit so that I have a, a six inch wide surface here for sawing. Um, it's really doing all the work. It's pulling the bit into the wood. Remove the glue squeeze out. simple project to make but you can see when you eliminate the power tools and you focus on building it entirely by hand it becomes a phenomenal exercise in milling a board flat on four sides gluing up a panel that is flat as can be 